Good morning, everyone. Chris, can you um, speak to the speed of uh, Isaac Garendo? It seemed like he's caught us a little bit by surprise. We didn't realize he was as fast as he is. Well, I'm glad he caught you guys by surprise because he definitely didn't catch me by surprise. I mean, he's a uh, – I mean, what can you say? I mean, he's just a kid that works his tail off every day, um, really puts in the work, studies film. Um, he's got a track background. I think I said that last time. He ran a 10-5 as a senior in high school, um, played a lot of receiver, mostly receiver, actually all receiver in high school, so his hands are really good. He just put on a few more pounds over the years, but uh, definitely knew he th that he was capable of running very fast. Um, he's worked on some other elements of his game, being more powerful, more physical through contact, and I really think he's really done a great job in that department. But it's all, it always helps when you have an old line like we have that just paves the way, and uh, I think we've got – some backs that if we get some space, we can take it to the house. And uh, he's definitely been uh, a pleasant surprise for us, for sure. So you're a local guy. I grew up in Louisville. You know what this rivalry means. Tell us in your words, what does it mean? What, what, to be able to coach in this game, what's it mean? Oh, man, it's, a, it's an honor. It's an honor. I never had the uh, privilege of, of playing in the game. But uh, growing up in this city, I was definitely well aware of the magnitude of the game, um, you know, from – having some former teammates that I played with in high school that played here. Um, and, you know, some guys that I coach with have coached in the game. And uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, this is a Super Bowl. And I think we're well aware of the uh, ramifications of the game. And I think our kids are chomping at the bit because they understand how important this game is as well. Um, I think when you have a staff of men who have from the city played here, have familiarity, um, I think that it, it, it takes on a little bit more meaning. And uh, I told him, I said, you know, guys, it might be a little different if you guys go to Walmart wearing your stuff and uh, uh, all of a sudden you lose the game. I mean, uh, you know, they might not let you win Walmart around here. Uh, <clears throat> they might close it down until you leave. Uh, but uh, but actually, uh, no, I was just messing with them, But I definitely want them to understand that this game is uh, – it means everything to these fans, these fans, this community. Yeah, Chris, um, have any of the players who have been around for a while talked about uh, any frustration in terms of being able to beat Kentucky uh, since it's been since 2017? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, you know, guys like Jaws, I mean, he, he's he's never beat uh, Kentucky. I mean, most of the guys I think in this program obviously have never had that uh, uh, honor of beating those guys. And so that's something that uh, we want to make sure we make a priority. Um, and I think that's something that we've – really been on the agenda since we got here. Uh, we understood the assignment from day one. Uh, we've got to go out and execute. And we understand how much this game means to this to this, this fan base, to the city. And it has been a while, too long, to be honest with you. And uh, we, we, we feel as though uh, uh, we've got a lot of work to do. They've got a, a good football team. Um, you know, they've had some ups and downs, but they're well coached. Uh, I think Martin Stoops is, is a great job uh, defensively, especially he's got a defensive mind. Um, I actually <laughs> played in um, college with their defensive coordinator. He was uh, my linebacker, uh, Brad White, who we played in college together. Uh, very well familiar with him. He's a brilliant mind, uh, understands football, has coached at the, uh, at the, at the professional level as well. Um, so he's, he's certainly going to be a challenge for us. But, uh, you know, I like, I like our team, and I like where we are right now. I think uh, the guys are locked in, and uh, they understand uh, what's at stake. Chris, can you – just speak to their – they've got a pretty good run defense. Can you just speak to their defensive front, what you're seeing from them and, and that linebacker core? Well, the front is, is – uh, they're, they're massive. I mean, they've got some size up there. They're disruptive. They like to get um, and play the game across the line of scrimmage in the backfield. Uh, they've got some, some really big men up there, and they're strong at the point of attack. You know, they do a good job of running some certain line stunts that can possibly free some of the guys up, create some more gaps. Uh, <clears throat> and, um, you know, I think they do a good job with their hands. They pursue the football. Um, they're well coached. You can tell those things. And, and so we're, we have a great challenge in front of us uh, to deal with the front. I mean, the linebackers, they, they make plays. You know, they run well. Uh, they've got some size. 
Um, but I think they, they really try to win the line of scrimmage. I mean, in, in the SEC, that's that's kind of you know how you have to make a living is at the line of scrimmage. And uh, they've done a really good job over the years of really beefing up that line. Um, so we're, we're going to have to really do a great job of scheming them up and uh, really trying to get some ways to gain some advantages. But uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Um, certainly, um, they're, they're well coached and uh, assignment sound. Disciplined football team, you know, they're going to make you earn yards. Uh, so we're we're excited about that opportunity, um, and uh, feel like we've we've experienced a lot of growth over the season. Uh, I think particularly since the NC State game, I think we really were challenged in that game, and I know from a personal standpoint, my unit really, I think, has grown tremendously since that game. Uh, we needed that game to stifle us to under so that we understand how to be more detail oriented, how to uh, attack certain defenses that maybe kind of condense running lanes and, and put, want to put a lot of people close to the line of scrimmage. And so uh, we've had to take on a different mentality. Uh, we've seen a little bit more of those type of defenses, and I think you've seen some more success uh, as a result. So, um, you know, we're definitely looking forward to it, but it's going to be a challenge this week. Chris, uh, ever since Jawar Jordan suffered that hamstring injury, it seems like he hasn't been as consistently explosive, lost maybe a slight step. How limited has Jordan been since he suffered that injury, and how has that in impacted what you guys scheme up as an offense? Uh, I mean, I think he's he's um, he, he did, you're right. He did get nicked up a few few weeks back, and you know he's been battling through some things. Um, you know his his game is predicated on speed a lot of times. Uh, and, you know, if you got a bad wheel or something's not quite feeling right, I mean, yes, it can have an impact on his game. I think he he has been able to give us everything he has for the last couple of weeks, um, and that's what I respect the most about the kid is he hadn't shut it down. Um, he's battling through it, and I think his teammates understand he's battling through it, and, um, and they just love the fact that he's out there at war with them. And, and I, I know us as a coaching staff, we appreciate everything he's given, for, given us, and I think he's getting healthier by the day. I just think that we haven't quite seen him back to full strength yet. Um, you know, I think his whatever he is is, is still effective, um, but, uh, you know, we've been blessed with the emergence of, uh, you know, Isaac Garendo to kind of spell him and give him some, uh, take some off of his plate, if you will. And so I think that uh, as he continues to get healthy, I um, also have to give a shout-out to Maurice Turner. I thought he did a really good job last week as well in, on special teams as well, and he's chomping at the bit to get going. So, you know, I think we've got plenty of pieces back there to get the job done. Uh, if a guy's nicked up or maybe not quite 100%. But I feel good about Jawar and where he is and, and where his um, his availability comes Saturday. Chris, with, with this being a holiday week, how do you all handle Thanksgiving? Is it a team Thanksgiving meal? Is it position groups? Uh, do you take them with your family? It's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. Um, we definitely have, have something for the team. And then, um, excuse me, I know myself, I like to have the guys over. Uh, to my house, um, around my family, around my kids, holding my kids, playing with my dog. Uh, I've always cherished that and valued that. I think it's about more than football. I think it needs to be about that. When you when you deal with young people, I think you connect with them that way. Uh, and also, I want them to see my family. I want them to see structure. I want them to see uh, some things that they may not have seen growing up. Uh, me interact with my wife, my, my children, maybe some things that they maybe missed coming up. Some of my kids don't have fathers in their lives. Some of my kids maybe don't have moms in their lives. So I want them to see what the dynamic looks like and how it functions. Uh, because, again, I think it's about more than football with those young men, and, and uh, they know I love them. I, I say we say it every day uh, after practice, and uh, I want to make sure that we're putting action behind the words. And uh, having them over to the house and inviting them in and, and just uh, the one thing, one rule I have when they come over is, hey, no football. We don't talk football. We're just going to leave that in the office. But uh, we, let's just talk life. You know, let's let's be people and uh, let's be real. And uh, so I think that that uh, it really resonates with them and, and it, it means a lot to me.